So we may have thought that our student loans were going away, but it looks like they're here to stay. So if you're back to resuming your student loan payments, you have a couple of different options. So option number one is you can apply for an income driven repayment schedule. This could lower your monthly payments for your student loans and make them more affordable. In some cases, your payments can be as little as zero to $10. It's all going to be dependent on the income shown on your tax returns the prior year. And each year you'll recertify this. Can I ask you a question on that? Yeah. I know it's all government based and it's all a scam, but how does FAFSA know what is on your tax returns. On the Department of Education website or your servicer's website, you have the option to link directly to the IRS where they can pull in your tax returns. And that's how they'll determine your income to determine what is affordable for monthly payments. Oh, see, because I have some student loans I haven't paid off yet. And I didn't feel like linking my tax returns. So I just said, I can't afford it right now. So I got another three month forbearance. Sure. So you're allotted so much time through the entirety of your student loan for a forbearance. Okay. And if I recall properly, it's about two years. So once you exceed two years of forbearance or deferment, outside of everything from the CARES Act, you <clears throat> no longer have that option available to you. So what you're saying is I need to get it paid off soon. No, what I'm saying is you should call at your servicer and find out what payment options okay. are available to you, or you can log in online and you can look at the different options on the servicer's payment portal um, from income driven repayment to all of the different amortized schedules. And they'll do a comparison to show you the different payment amounts. And then you'll determine what the best option is for you. What if I said I was just planning on defaulting on my student loan? If you do default on your student loans, you'll have the option to participate in the Fresh Start program, which will pull your student loans out of default by simply a phone call. Now, that program is only available to you once, so don't screw it up. Um, and if you don't pay your student loans, it's not a debt that ever expires with statute of limitations. So they're just going to garnish your taxes eventually until they're paid, or they can um, put a lien against you, file a judgment, et cetera, sort of legal action. Sounds awfully aggressive for trying to encourage people to get a degree. If you have questions about student loans, put them in the comments below, and we'll answer your questions in the next video.